Hey everyone, Nick again, Used Bikes Direct, checking out this 2016 Wide Glide. Hop on the website, usedbikesdirect.com to see those detailed photos and specs. Give us a call with any questions at 866-576-2453. So like I said, this is a 2016 model Harley-Davidson Dyna Wide Glide. It's going to feature Harley's 103 cubic inch V-twin engine in it, and that is paired up to a 6-speed transmission. This one we're checking out today is 15,756 miles on it. Vance and Heinz exhaust, always a popular option. We'll give that a listen here in a minute. Note that you do have a couple of light scuff scrapes and scratches along the way in that exhaust, as well as things like on the top of the tank, just the tiniest of dents right there. You can really only see when the light hits it just right. Now, as we pan over some of the bike, you're going to see a couple of light little chips like what you have right in there, a couple of scrapes there in some of the hardware and light scuffs that are going to be throughout the plastics. Checking out the left side over here, a couple more little chips. Now, one thing we did notice whenever we were doing our inspection and service process on this bike worth mentioning is that the headlights, so the high beam does not properly function with the headlight bulb that's in there, so you only have the low beam, and also the front rocker gasket is leaking, so you do have a slight oil leak. Now, as we're checking out these forks, you're going to see a couple of little worn spots and light chips along the way, a couple of scuffs on that front fender. That's the general theme of the bike. You're just going to have a few marks along the way. Over here on the clutch lever, of course, you see a little chip in that and a few scrapes up top. And then as we pan over to the right side of that handlebar, it's going to be similar to what we saw on the left. A couple little spots of rust in some of the hardware, as well as some more scrapes throughout. Anyway, as we go to climb up top, we'll take a look at those controls and then we'll fire it up and give her a listen. As always, we'll start over here on the left hand side where you're going to have the usual headlight left turn signal and horn, as well as that trip button in the upper left hand corner. Note that those buttons are a little worn. Right side is going to have your kill switch, starter button, four way emergency flashers, and your right turn signal. Of course, a large analog gauge for your speedometer, and there's the odometer, 15756. Let's fire it up and listen how she sounds. <laughs> Alright guys, so be sure to find us on the web to see more at usebikesdirect.com or give us a call with any questions whatsoever at 866-576-2453.